Hello everyone, welcome to Open Source Cook. This is the next video after our discussion about how to create archives and compressed files. Today we are going to see the preferred format that people use for compression and archiving in a Linux system. So there are two things. One is archiving in which you can take a lot of files and put them into a single file. This is in general, you can call it as an archive. So there is a utility called a star, which is a tape archiving utility. Of course, you won't be using it to write on tapes in a home PC or a desktop, but it can be used to create archives which can hold your multiple files. This is sometimes useful when you want to send hundreds of files over to someone uh, on the net or by email. One thing to keep in mind is tar does not create any kind of compression. So the two preferred compression utilities that are available on Linux are the gzip compression or the bzip compression. So let us have a look at these two utilities or rather these three things, how to create the archives, how to create the compressed archives, as well as if you have single files, how you can just uh, compress a single file. So let's get started. So over here I have some files which I have copied and with this we will be demonstrating the compression part. So let us say I want to compress certain files and I want to or rather I want to create an archive. Let's start by creating an archive first. So I'm going to select few of these files. I'll also take one of these files. Fine. Now I'll create an archive of this by saying create archive and I'm just going to use tar. So let's create this. So now you can notice that we have created a tar now which consists of all these files. A copy of all these files is inside your tar. This is 2.8 MB approximately. And if we see the property of all these files, and these are also 2.8 MB. So you can notice that the tar does not create any kind of compression. So Obviously, when you're sending a huge amount of data over the net, you will want it to be compressed. So how do we compress it? Well, with the same set of files selected, right click, create archive. And this time I will select the tar.gz. So now what is going to happen is system in the background is going to create a tar file and then compress it with gzip compression. So let's create that. So our tar gzip is created which is approximately 1 MB right now it's showing in kilobytes. Another compression that I said bzip is there. Let's create an archive from that also. And this time I'm going to use the bzip2 that is for your bzip compression. And here it has created the bzip archive also. Okay, so this way you can create your archives if you want to extract the process is same you can just right click and extract it. Now let us try archiving a single or rather compressing a single file. So suppose you have a real big single file like over here this is around 800 kilobytes file and I want to compress this. So I'll again go to create archive and this time I'm just going to select either gzip or bzip. So first let us try this gzip and let's say create. So gzip is created. This is around 204 kilobytes. And then the next one again on the same one I'll do is a bzip compression. So this time I'm going to select bzip. So here bz2 and let us create this. So now it has also created the bzip compression. So bzip in general provides a bit better compression compared to the other things. But it takes a bit more time to compress. 
So if you're going to compress a lot of files, then there will be a trade off between your time and uh, compression. So you'll have to decide whether you want to go for gzip or bzip. But if the files are not too much or the size is not too much, so it hardly matters which compression you use. So another thing that I would like to add is once you start working into the Linux world, a lot of people will be sharing their code content and other things in tar files. So these tar files are also referred as tar balls. Yes, you heard me right tar balls. And uh, these are these could be simply the tar or these compressed tars. Sometimes the gzip compression or uh, compressed files are also given as tgz. So those are also tar balls. So just to inform you, if someone is talking about a tar ball, they are actually referring to these tar files. Try out different compressions and see what suits you. Feel free to use these utilities. And once you're in the Linux world, use gzip and bzip compression more and more. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do subscribe to my channel for further new videos and updates. Thanks for watching the video.